Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is Mr. Mlenga. So I want us to look at question 16. Okay. Uh, this is a question that is coming from functions. Okay. Now the question reads given that uh, f of x is equal to 5x plus 4 over 5 and g of x is equal to x minus 1. Find question A function inverse of x. Okay. Then B, they want you to find the function inverse of negative 2. Then C, they want you to find the function function of G, X in its simplest form. So the last one is a composite function. Okay? So how can we answer uh, these questions? Let's check. So I'm going to start with question A right here. So they want you to find the function inverse. So first write the function for X, function of X, which is... 5x plus 4 over 5. Now, from here, to find the function inverse, introduce um, any variable, okay? So, in this case, we're going to introduce y to replace the function of x is equal to 5x plus 4 over 5. Now, from here, what's next? Make x the subject of the formula. So the way you can make x the subject of the formula is this is a fraction, this is not a fraction. So divide by 1 and you close, multiply. So um, 1 times 5x plus 4, you get 5x plus 4 is equal to y times 5, you get 5y. So here you want to remain with x. So this 4 will come this side, okay? So I'm going to have 5x is equal to. 5y, this is a positive number, it comes this side will be negative 4. So to have x this side, you are going to divide by 5, even you divide by 5. So this and this, you cancel, they have x is equal to, okay? I hope that you are together, x is equal to 5y minus 4 over 5. So the question was, find the function inverse of x, okay? So your final answer now, we are going to say the function inverse of x is equal to, so where there is y, we are going to put x, we we'll say 5x minus 4 over 5, okay? So this is our answer to question 1. So now, let's come to question B, where they want you to find the function inverse function inverse of negative 2. So the function inverse of negative 2, this will be very easy because you have your function inverse, okay? Your function inverse. This one, this one right here, this is the function inverse of x. So this negative 2 right here is representing x, okay? So you get this same one, you just say uh, function inverse of negative 2 is equal to so I said 5x minus 4 over a 5. So it means where there is x, okay, your x will be replaced with a negative 2. Okay, so just say function inverse of negative 2 is equal to 5 in bracket, we put a negative 2 because I've said where there is this x replaced with negative 2, then minus 4, okay over i hope uh, we are moving together over so over what over five so from here the function inverse of negative two will be five times negative two okay that will give you negative ten not so so this will give us negative ten minus four over five so from here we can say negative 10 minus 4, it will be negative 14 over 5. So our answer, we can leave it as a mixed fraction where we say 5 into 14 because there are two times. Okay. Then we are going to have a remainder of 4 over 5. So this is our answer. So I do hope that we are moving together. Let us now look at the third question. So our last question, they want us to find uh, f of g x in its simplest form. 
So remember I said this is what we call the composite function. So under this composite function, you have the function of f and the function of g. Okay, then we are saying this is a composite function. So it means this uh, g, okay, this g is going to compose the function of f. Meaning on the function of f, where there is x, we are going to put the g function. Okay, so what does this mean? This means that, okay, this means that, uh, let me just answer it on top. I think you can see. I'll write C, okay? So first thing, you have, we are looking at F like this. This is what you want to answer, not so. So I've said this, we will repress on the function of F. So the function of F is this, 5x plus 4 over 5, okay? Now, on this function of f, you can check I've got x right here. So this x is going to be replaced with the g function. And the g function is x minus 1 right here. Okay? So I'll do this equal to. So I'll write 5. Here where there is x, I'll say open bracket. I'll put the function of g, which is x minus 1. Close. Then plus 4. Plus 4. Over 5. I hope we are moving together, okay? I hope we are moving together. So here, what are we going to do, guys? So let's just see. Let's just expand where we say 5 times x is 5x. Five, 5 times negative 1 is 5 plus 4 over 5, okay? So from here, you can check you are going to have... Uh, 5x, this negative 5 plus 4, you'll get uh, negative 1 over 5. So, this is our answer. So, let's just write here. Let me just put the answers. The function inverse, we said, the function inverse of x, what did we find? We find that it was what? 5x minus 4 over 5. Then for the second one, the function inverse of a negative 2, we have found that it is 2 whole number, then negative 4 over 5. Then the last one, we have found that the f function of a uh, function of gx inverse found that it was 5x minus 1 over 5. So this is a 5, take note. Okay, these are the answers. So thank you so much for having time to view this content. Leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be able to respond to you. Bye-bye.